tough, tough loss last night, getting walked off the field, uh, letting a uh, two-run lead slip. And, uh, you know, today's game is exactly what I thought it was going to be, tight. And I actually thought it was going to be a low-scoring game, which is kind of the way it works. But uh, some clutch hitting, advancing people, bunted people over. And just an outstanding job by, by all of our pitchers today. They gave us an opportunity to, you know, to hang in there and finally get the lead there, seventh, eighth, ninth, scoring those runs. So, uh, good series win for us on the road. Bob, first question. Um, hey, Dave, congratulations. Um, looked like, yeah, I saw some video that got posted on Twitter. You and Tony had a pretty, I guess you call it heated, animated, whatever discussion after the game. What, what was Tony so hot about? And could you just tell us what, what the deal was with that? You don't want to know about the game first? I'm going to go straight into that, huh? So uh, we will. Uh, first off, Tony's a really good guy and he's a really good coach. So, you know, it could have been something that was uh, going on during the game. Could be, could be about recruiting. Could be about a lot of things. Um, probably pick one of all or all three. So uh, that's between me and Tony. Okay, and then you guys are now 6-0 and in these rubber games. I'm sorry, you having trouble here? You guys are now 6-0 and in these. Room and it's loud, and, yeah, there's buzzing, and there's no hot water. How about that? What okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe Tony turned it off. Uh, um, you, you guys are 6-0 and in these rubber games now. Um, what, what, and, and you've won all these SEC series, still haven't lost one, and just one left. Now, what, what do you think about all that? Just like I said earlier, just really proud of the team. And I've said this 10 times throughout the spring, talking about this team. They show up every day and they play hard and they think they can win. Um, you know, somebody usually steps up and gets it done, whether it's a hitter or you know, a pitcher or somebody that's been struggling all of a sudden has a great game. And uh, it, we don't get too uptight. You know, I mean, I answered a bunch of questions yesterday about how would we respond after the horrible loss. It's just one game, you know, and they got the last at bat and they beat us and the game works that way. And we played a lot of baseball games and, uh, you know, my comment was, we'll be fine. We're going to get up tomorrow. We'll come out and compete. That's what we did. So uh, I'm excited that uh, the team feels that way. And I'm, I'm really, obviously, six different times this this season, we've, we've had a chance to win the series in the last game and we've done. Yeah, I got a couple more. I'll, I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks. All right. Dave, uh, I think you said after Tuesday's game that Lockhart looked as good as he has since he's been here. Do you think that kind of got him back on track, and how do you think he did today? Yeah, I, I think it got him back on track, and, uh, and he, he pitched really well today. He, got, he threw his fastball to both sides of the plate, um, you know, get him leaning out over the plate. He could bust him in, do some good change-ups, and uh, we knew he was starting to fade. We were trying to get him through that fifth inning there, and uh, – and he started leaving his changeup up, and that was a little bit of a sign. But what a great job today, and it's good to see him, you know, bounce back. And we're going to need him down the stretch. And then what did you see on that uh, Slavin's hustle double there in the seventh when y'all finally scratched across your first run? Yeah, that might have been that might have been our first hit. Uh, I'm not sure. We might know we had that was our second hit. So uh, yeah, he got jammed a little bit. He looked like the, the center fielder to me took a jab back because it was a big swing and we thought it was going to drop. And I'm just, just glad that Brady hustled. Uh, I think he felt like it was going to drop as well. And if, if the outfielder left his feet, which he did, he had a chance to get two and it kind of kicked away and uh, he barely beat it. And obviously that was a, that was a huge run for us. Matt Jones. Do you feel like your offense, uh, get some momentum when Kevin comes into the game. Seems like there's a lot of times where, where they get the yeah. next beginning after he's come in. Yeah, I mean, that's a good way of putting it. I mean, I've had it asked to me when Kevin comes into the game, it seems like you guys start to do well and confident. But uh, I, I think that our, our offense thinks they're going to score every inning anyway. But it just seems like lately when Kevin's come in the game, we've scored runs. So uh, I, I guess I can see why you're asking that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think they feel good. Kevin gets us out of a jam. Um, let's go in and score, and that's kind of what's happened. Uh, it's, been, it's been fun to watch. Do you feel like it was fitting with the way this series had gone that you ended it with probably the best pitcher in the league against the, the best hitter? Yeah, I mean, it was – yeah, I mean, I do. It was uh, 
it was a great series. I mean, was it six five, eight seven? I don't know, seven six, three two. Um, you know, we came within an eyelash of sweeping the thing. We could have been swept. Um, just really well played. When, when, you know, yesterday we made a couple of mistakes in the field, and it cost us some runs. I didn't really talk about that last night. Today we didn't make any mistakes, and we win by a run. And that's that's a difference in close games. It's, it's defensive uh, mistakes and walks would usually get you beat. And we did a really good job of uh, handling the ball today and throwing strikes. Tom? Dave, you don't always do the small ball, but can you talk about the uh, what compelled you with the, the battles bunt? And then, Greg, can you talk about that and Gregory's double? Yeah, you just felt like that the way the game was going, that it was going to be a one-run game, maybe two-run game, just trying to get, get the lead, add to the lead. Um, I mean, the wind's blowing in from right. The only place the ball was really traveling was maybe a left center or dead left down the line. And, Unless you were left-handed, you could slice it into that alley like Gregory did, and it traveled and hit that wall. I just felt like, you know, if we get battles would get him over, we had two shots of getting him in and two left-handed hitters against their right-hander. Um, and Gregory got it done. And then, as a matter of fact, you know, Goodhart hit one extremely hard and just went right at the second base. So uh, that's kind of what was my thought. We had two shots to score that guy with left-handers against their right -hander. Is that about the max that you'd, you'd want to use cops on a weekend? Oh, yeah, by far. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. He's, he wanted the ball. He wouldn't come out. He didn't want to come out. And, uh, you know, he had better stuff tonight than he had the other day. I mean, I, I don't – it was amazing. His stuff was better today. Andrew Ellis. Hey, Coach, you know, we talked about how Lockhart got kind of back on track Tuesday in that Arkansas State game. Do you think that not having those midweek games earlier in the year that got canceled has maybe been a key reason why some of your pitchers haven't been able to get going and maybe get back on track a little bit like Lockhart has? Yeah, I think for sure a little bit because that would have given them some outside competition, obviously on a Tuesday or Wednesday, to go get some things, well, basically to prove themselves and us that they're, they're climbing back out of it. I mean, it happens probably to every team and most pitchers throughout a season. You're going to have your highs and your lows. And I think some of those guys, they just – they hit a bad spell, and I think they're coming out of it at the right time because we need it. And also, Coach, and I know teams change a lot throughout the season, and you face some pretty good ones, but do you think that Tennessee team is as good as anyone you've played this year? Yeah, I think they're, they're right there with, you know, with, the, with the best in the league, and their record proves it. Uh, they play hard, play with an attitude. They throw strikes. Um, they can run. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're one of the, definitely one of the top four teams in the league, and, you know, they're – they deserve, you know, the ranking. They deserve everything they're getting. They're really good. Jason, you have anything? Tom kind of asked about the small ball, but you guys did a really pretty good job all weekend, small ball, station, station ball. How important was that for you this weekend and getting the job done, getting the win? Well, it, it might have won both games for us that we won. And uh, even yesterday, I mean, you know, I mean, think about Webb pushing that ball up the line. We had two, two bunch that advanced runners yesterday. and end up getting hits on and we just didn't hold the lead. But, uh, you know, it gave us a chance to, to add to leads, catch up. Um, I think it was huge for our team. And we needed some home runs. We're going to hit home runs, but you got to be able to do some of these things. You know, you got to play in the elements, wind blowing in, great pitcher on the mound. You know, sometimes you got to win by a run instead of a three run home run. And uh, you got to get into third with less than two outs. And I think our guys did a nice job with that. And just where this team is right now with three games left, I mean, yeah, can you compare them with your 0-4 team and that team that won the league and, and what you're staring at now um, with three games left and the opportunity to win the league again? Yeah, you know, here's the way I look at it, and I've, I've said this, I tell coaches this every year. The only thing that we can really control is what we do when we play. We don't play everybody in the East. I want to win the West. Uh, the, the West, we play everybody in the West. We went 15-3 and three against the West. Um, if we win the overall, that's awesome. Let's win the West. Let's just win Thursday. You know, that's the way we look at it. I haven't talked to the team one time about winning a championship. They know. They, they, they know where we're at. They want to win. They play hard. So, uh, you know, but we're in a good position. We're right where we want to be. We're at the top of the standings going into the last week. Coach, last question, please. Yeah, Dave, uh, 
Vermillion did a pretty good job of limiting the damage there in the fifth. What, what do you think of the job he did? And could that maybe be his role moving forward? Well, without him coming in and getting two outs and only giving up one run, we might not win the game. Um, would have made it very difficult. And he came in and got a, got, you know, he came in with a 1-0 count. He promptly threw a change up, got a foul ball or whatever it was. He got to 1-2, I think, and the guy, you know, hits a, a chopper over his head. Just barely hit it. Could have gone back to the mound. It would have been great. But gave him a run there. And then uh, just an average fly ball to right. We're in the dugout. We're only down a run. We're excited. We felt like that was a win-win for us at the time. 